All right, guys, let's continue with example three on the next page. Investigate side lengths in 45 degrees, 45, 90 degrees angle triangles. Is there a relationship between the lengths of AB and AC in triangle ABC? Um, so if you look at this triangle here, look at the line AB and AC. Is there a relationship? So if that's a right, right angle and that's 45 degrees, what would the angle A be? Angle A should also be 45 degrees, correct? Yeah. So that means this is an isosceles triangle, which means AC and BC would be equal in length. But is there a relationship between AB and AC? So you can draw an altitude CD that could bisect um, your angle C. And that means these are also right triangles, okay? And then you can use the triangles to see if there's any relationship. Notice that triangle ABC is 45, 45, 90 triangle, and that AC is equal to BC. And using the right triangle similarity, um, there. Uh, to write an equation because these two triangles are similar by um, because these uh, two sides are the same. And then you have angle, right angle, and then 45 degrees angle. By AA similarity theorem, they're similar, right? So since they're similar, um, AC is the altitude. So that should be the geometric mean of AB and AD. Because triangle ABC is isosceles, CD bisects AB. So you can say instead of AD, um, one half of AB is going to be AD, right? So then using, using that information, you can solve for, um, you can simplify them and say half of AB squared. So you multiply half AB and half AB over here. And so that's gone um, and that's half AB squared. And then you multiply AC over here and AC over here and that's gone. And so you have AC squared here, okay? So then you have AB squared is equal to times two times two, that's gone, that's one, right? So that's equal to two AC squared. So AB is equal to square root, the whole thing, okay? So AB should be square root to AC squared, which means you have square root two times AC times AC. And you can pull AC out because they form a pair. And so that's really square root to AC or AC squared two, however, whichever way. Okay, so that length of AB is square root two times the length of AC. Does that work for all 45, 45, 90 uh, triangles? Yes, it, I will tell you, yes. But you can look at other examples, uh, 45, 45, 90 degrees triangles um, to see if the relationship holds for every 45, 45, 90 um, triangles, okay? So try number three, find the side lengths of each 45, 45, 90 degrees triangle. We do have a theorem here. Let's look at the theorem first and then we can come back to try it, okay? So if you look at the theorem on the bottom, it says in the 45, 45, 90 triangle, the legs are congruent and the length of the hypotenuse is square root two times the length of a leg. So if that's S, then that's square root two S, okay, times S, or S times square root two, okay? So using that information, using the relationship that we just learned, can you try to figure out three A and B without going through all the process, just looking at the relationship. Can you figure it out? 
See if you can do it by yourself. Come back when you're ready for answers. Okay, are you ready? So the relationship is that these sides are equal. So that should also be seven, right? So X, Z is seven. And YZ should be seven times square root two. So it's just seven square root two. Okay, you don't have to actually um, solve for all the decimals. It's actually more exact. It's more of an exact answer to leave it as a square root because the decimals are gonna, it's not gonna terminate. So part B, what are J, K, and L, K? You know, these are the same and that's a hypotenuse. Right, these are the legs, that's a hypotenuse. And the legs are gonna, uh, the hypotenuse is the, the length of the leg times square root two. So you know, it must be, they must be 12, right? So J, K, and L, K are both equal to 12. Okay. Let's look at the next page, example four. Explore the side lengths of a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So this is another special triangle, 30, 60, 90. Okay. So using an equilateral triangle, show how the lengths of the short leg, the long leg, and the hypotenuse of 30, 60, 90 triangles are related. So ABC is an equilateral triangle. And if you, if you divide the equilateral triangle with an altitude, it's gonna make a 30, uh, 30, 60, and 90 degree triangle because equilateral triangle, equilateral triangle has all same angles and all same sides, right? So that's gonna be 60, 60, 60 each. And if we divide one angle um, by half, that's 30. So it has to have two 30, 60, 90 degrees triangles. See that? All right. So if you look at triangle ADB, the one on the left, let the length of the short leg AD be S. If this is S, we want to figure out the relationship between AD and AB, the hypotenuse and one leg, this leg. Okay. So if AD is equal to CD, then they're both S, right? They're both equal to each other. And AC is AD plus CD. So S plus S, so two S, right? And so the whole thing is two S. And then AB is going to be two S because this is an equilateral triangle. Isn't that amazing? Wow, yeah, yeah. So yeah, you don't have to prove that the triangles are similar or equilateral or, you know, it's already given that the whole big triangle is equilateral. So the sides are already all equal to each other and the altitude divides one angle in half. So you know the other two triangles are gonna be equal to each other, right? They're congruent. And so you just need to use the information that AD is equal to BC. And together, AC is 2S, and that means AB is also 2S, okay? Yeah, find the relationship between AD and BD, okay? What about AD and the longer leg? You have two legs here, the longer one and the shorter one and the hypotenuse, right? Do we have a relationship between the shorter leg and the longer leg? Let's see, okay? So first, you're gonna use the Pythagorean theorem. So list out the Pythagorean theorem. So you can say, I'm gonna use a different color, by the way. Um, AD, AD squared plus BD squared should equal to AB squared, but we already know AD and uh, AB, right? So AD is already S. So S squared, plus BD, we don't know, so that's still BD squared, but AB is 2S, so 2S squared, okay? 2S squared is 2S times 2S parentheses, so that's 2 times 2 and S times S, so that's 4S squared, okay? You can't just say, oh, that's going to be 4S, or that's going to be 2S squared. You have to square both of them. 
Okay, so then you have S squared plus BD squared is equal to 4S squared, right? And then that means BD squared is equal to 4S squared minus S squared and they're like terms. What can you do? How can you simplify like terms? You can add and subtract like terms, right? So 4 minus 1 S squared would be 3 S squared. So that means BD squared is 3 S squared. So BD is square root 3 S squared, which is really S square root 3. So that's going to be S square root 3. Okay, so the relationship between the shorter leg and the longer leg for 30, 60, 90 degrees triangle would always be one, two, square root three. So if AD is S or X, BD is gonna be S square root three. And then the hypotenuse is gonna be two times the shorter leg S. Yeah, it's always the case. That's why it's a special triangle. Okay, so yeah. So in triangle ADB, the length of the hypotenuse AB is twice the length of the short leg, and the length of the long leg is uh, squared three times the length of the short leg. Okay, so using that relationship, and look at this theorem here on, on the bottom. In a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle, the length of the hypotenuse is twice the length of the short leg, and then the length of the long leg is square root three times the length of the short leg. And that's always the case. So using that relationship, can you figure out try number 4A and 4B? See if you can do it by yourself, come back when you're ready for answers. Okay, did you figure it out? Using the relationship, what are PQ and PR? What are PQ and PR? If you know, RQ is gonna be six. The relationship is that the hypotenuse is two times P, uh, RQ. So six times two is 12. So PR is a hypotenuse because that's opposite to the right angle. So that's gonna be 12. And then PQ is going to be square root three times a shorter, shorter leg. So that's gonna be six square root three. That was easy, right? What about part B? What are U, V, and T, V? So you can use the Pythagorean theorem if you don't know the, this theorem, the 36, 90 triangle theorem, but that's gonna take you a while, right? So instead of using Pythagorean theorem, if you know this is a 30, 60, 90 degrees triangle, then you can use the relationship and get the, the length of the um, sides instantly, right? So that's the longer leg, which means it's gonna be uh, square root three times the shorter leg that makes nine UV, right? And then that means your hypotenuse is two times UV. So nine times two is 18. There you go. So PR is 12, PQ is six square root three, um, UV is nine and TV is 18. Okay, so relationships are fun. If you know their relationships, um, sometimes you can, you can figure out information much faster. So let's look at example five, apply special right triangle relationships. So, so far we've learned special right triangle relationships. They must be a right triangle, but they also need to have certain degrees. So the first special right triangle was 45, 45, 90, right? The second one was 30, 60, 90. So they are the special right triangle. So if you, whenever you see that, you need to think, oh, that's special. There's something, uh, there's something going on. <laughs> okay, so part A, Alejandro needs to make both the horizontal and vertical supports AC and AB for the ramp. Is, um, is one 12 foot board long enough for both supports? Explain. So we are trying to figure out if BA plus AC would be less than 12 or equal to 12. It, would that be enough, right? 
So you want to figure out the length of the two, uh, the two supports. You know that the hypotenuse is 10 feet, and this is a special right triangle, right? 30, 60, 90, we just went over that. So if the shorter length, if the shorter leg is X, your hypotenuse is 2X, and then your longer leg is square root 3X, right? And you know that this is 10 foot. So if 2X is 10 foot, what's X? You can just simply write an equation and solve it. 2x is equal to 10. What's x? x must be 10 divided by 2. So that's 5. So that is 5. And what's square root 3 times 5? Simply 5 times square root 3. So there you go. You have 5 and 5 square root 3. And if you add 5 and 5 square root 3, 5 square root 3 is actually what? Let's do square root 3 is about 1.732 times up by 5 is 8.66 plus 5 is 13.66 so 5 square root 3 plus 5 is about 13.66 and is that gonna be if you have 12 foot long in a 12 foot board 12 foot board would that be long enough no, it's not going to cover all the support. So the answer is the board will not be long enough. So you need to compare the answers first, and then that is your final answer as well. Okay. So part B, Olivia starts an origami paper crane by making the 200 millimeter diagonal board. Fold. What are the side length and area of the paper square? So step one, you're going to find the length of one side of the paper. And then step two, you're going to find the area of the paper square. And then you're going to answer your question. Okay. So that's the fold of the origami paper. And you know that the triangle formed by the fold is a special triangle. Which one is it? 45, 45, 90. What do you know about that special triangle? You know that the triangle is? isosceles so the legs are gonna be the same and then what is the relationship of the legs to the hypotenuse it's gonna be square root two times the leg right so you know 200 is equal to um wait if that's s that's gonna be square root two times x, right? So 200 is equal to s square root two. In order to get s, you're gonna divide both sides by square root two, so that you have square root two over square root two, which is equal to one, so that's one s, right? And then that's gonna be 200 divided by square root two. And that's going to be about 141.4 millimeters. So one length is going to be about 141.4 millimeters. So the area would be 141.4 square. That's 20,000 millimeters square. So the paper square has side length um, 141.4 millimeter, and the area is 20,000 millimeters square. All right. So look at try number 5A and B and see if you can solve them by yourself. You need to be able to identify the special triangles and use the relationships, okay? Okay, so what about part A? What are A, B, and B, C? You know that the special triangle is 30, 60, and 90. You know that if that's the shorter leg is X, then the hypotenuse is 2X. And the longer leg is square root 3 times x, okay? And so if that's x and the longer leg is x square root 3, you know that x square root 3 is equal to 28. So x is equal to 28 over square root 3. And you can say, yeah, that's going to be, uh, that's going to be, if you rationalize the denominator, you can simplify the fraction and say 28 squared 3 over 3 is BC. And 2x is going to be 2 times that, so 56 squared 3 divided by 3. 
What about part B? A, C, and B, C. This is another special triangle, 45, 45, 90. You know that if the leg, one of the leg is X, that is going to be square root two X. So if square root two X is going to be 14, your X is going to be 14 divided by square root two, right? So that's really uh, 14 square root two over two, simplify and that's seven square root two. So they're both um, AC is equal to BC and that's equal to seven square root two. All right, let's summarize our lesson. The Pythagorean theorem and the special right triangles. So remember that the Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. And that also gives us some special triangles too, okay? So remember for the 45, 45, 45 special triangle, you have x, x, and that's gonna be two square root x. No, 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 square root two x. Yeah, that's gonna be square root two x. And then if you have, 60 30 right triangle that's gonna if that's x the shorter the shortest leg is x your hypotenuse is 2x then your longer leg is square root 3x okay all right that was lesson 8-1 right triangles and the pythagorean theorem if you have any more questions please ask miss king in class we'll continue with the next lesson uh, lessons A 2 trigonometric ratios in the next video. All right, guys, see you later. Bye.